Hello guys, in this video I want to show you guys a very cool app that has been released, it's called Splash Top 2 HD. Um, if you played with Splash Top 1, the first one, you know that this is a, um, a way to access your computer, it could be PC or it could be Mac, it doesn't really matter, remotely. And here like you can see, it's Splash Top 2, it says that you can secure fast and remote access over the internet and you can on this edition you can also use 3G and 4G and you could this time around you could pinch and zoom and, and it has a very new design and it, the performance it has been optimized and this one is actually optimized for tablets so first before starting I recommend going to the website let me show you guys here I'm, uh, I'm doing it this time on my MacBook uh, make sure you go to splash Top home splashtop.com here you can see right away right when you launch the page you can see here get streamer for PC or Mac just make sure you hit on that and it will automatically start downloading like you can see here boom make sure you say keep and that's it after it installs let me see when open it up you open it up bum, bum. And you're gonna go just through the normal installation process as always, blah 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 blah. And the thing is, when you get into, let's close the window here, let's close this. So, Splash Top is gonna be right here. You're gonna have your preferences, and this is how it's gonna look Splash Top on your, on your computer. It's gonna be always running in the background, so this is good. When you see this highlighted, as um, a white you know that's running in the background so just make sure you know here it recognizes blah 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 first when you set this up first you got to create an account if you don't have one if you have one so just use the same account you used to use last year on, on the older on the older version and just make sure you put enable auto launch if you want the, the program to launch automatically when the computer is on uh, you can also put a uh, uh, password protection. Um, you can enable here. So you make sure you check this so that way you can let the let the tablet use the audio. Because if you uncheck this, you will be having access but without audio. So just make sure this is checked and improve this product. Uh, this will send information to them too, so they can fix any problems whatsoever and that's it that's it once you do this you're all set to go uh, this is a very simple program you just install it and just go through it and make sure you got checked whatever settings you want but make sure you check the audio settings that way you could access your audio from your tablet so now let's go here to the tablet this is the Nexus 7 here is the app when you launch the app it's gonna tell you to create an account if you if you don't already have an account when the, when you launch this for the first time. It's gonna tell you to create an account, and once you create the the account, um, everything is easy. Um, just make sure this is uh, if you're at home. Just make sure it's using the same Wi-Fi network, both of them. Um, here automatically when you launch it, you're gonna see if you have like three computers, you're gonna see all three computers right there. And if you want to rescan, you just click that and it will rescan again all your network, all your computers. And here, once you, uh, right now I got my computer here. Um, here it has an option settings. Here you could use, uh, you could change the resolution on your tablet. But the, I recommend just leaving it like best fit to this device. I rather leave it like that. I don't want to see no hiccups or nothing. I want it to run smooth. So I just put it like that. Best fit to this device. But you could like you can see there, you could change the settings. And that's it. Here, if you go to settings, you click here. It's gonna here you're gonna be able to, to access your um, splash top account and here you, here you're gonna be able to uh, run a couple settings like optimize your network, product improvement, run in compatible mode, enable auto lock, allow screen auto lock when idle after connection to streamer, how to blah 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 blah. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect it so you guys can see how nice it works. Like you can see right there, the screen of the of the of the MacBook 
um, just flickered like blue so that means the connection is has been done and here um, when you first launch it you're gonna see a couple gesture hints how to use the, the, the touch screen and everything bum, 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 very nice and you can be a slide you can see some more um, hints uh, this scroll bar in the bottom is very nice you're gonna see it right now and I always try to keep I always want to see the hints because I sometimes forget so now look at this now I have I'm using the screen of my um, I'm right now um, using my computer remotely on the Nexus 7 tablet that's very cool uh, from here you could do almost anything you can do on your computer like right now I could go ahead and open a, a folder like you can see right there let me put this a little better right there so you guys can see all of everything going on on the screen on both screens and here you could select an item um, here you could go ahead and and scroll very nice um, let's go ahead and close it you could tell, double tap to to put it down um, here I could go ahead and watch a video let's see if I can see one of my videos right there this is one of my recordings that I put on YouTube see? there I go All right. <laughs> Like you can see the TV, it's working and everything. And the audio, like you can see, it's from here. Oh, great, I turned off the screen. Okay. And it sounds good. Look at that. Very nice. The audio sounds perfectly. Um, here, when you click here, you're gonna see a, a scroll bar here in the bottom, which is very cool. Um, here you could go ahead and see the hints again if you kind of forgot about the hints and let's go ahead here again let me show you guys here you could enable a scroll right here this is very cool now you have a scroll here uh, let's say I open one of the websites um, and I click here let me see I should be able to there you go <laughs> Like you can see, I could be scrolling on the website using the on-screen scroller, which is very, very nice. And then from here, I could go ahead and open another website. I get, I'm using right now Chrome. Very cool. This is my account. Look at that. That's very, very nice. Very cool. I could go ahead and close it again. Let's go ahead and close it. I double tap to close my website my browser um, here you can also take away the, the scroll again it will disappear um, another cool feature here is the touchpad you could change your the way the trackpad mode you could turn on trackpad mode which is very cool as well because now you got it works like a trackpad you got the left click and the right click and you can see now you can see a now you can see like a like the little arrow and wherever you put the arrow like for example let me put it there and I put I click the right I get the right click so now you got let me put this bump bump and confirm <laughs> so here let's go ahead and change the the wallpaper let's go ahead and change the desktop wallpaper boom <laughs> now I change the desktop wallpaper <laughs> there it goes very awesome and from here I guess you could do almost anything you want to do with your computer you know access your files and everything very very nice like I said you can make things easier with the with the trackpad here with the scroller here which is very nice Look at that you can watch photos nice these are rings that I've been looking for in my car not bad and you could close it back there's a lot of things you could do here like 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 it is you know this is a, re a remote client and this is a very easy way to access your computer remotely and it's free that's what's amazing about it right now it is free it says that it's gonna be free for a limited time so I recommend you guys to get it I'm um, here also you could 
have an on-screen keyboard forgot to mention that you got an on-screen keyboard and over here you got all the commands like control escape tab delete very nice you got a keyboard right here very cool so let's go ahead hide the keyboard boom hit that again and it'll hide automatically it is very very nice and it works very smooth as well um, I haven't tried this on 3G but you know like I, like it says in the descriptions you can use this over the internet you know and and on 3G and 4G if your tablet has 4G or 3G and that's a very cool deal there you go beautiful <laughs> Okay guys, so let me know what you guys think about this app. Do you like it? Uh, let me know if you guys have another options besides this one. And until next time guys.